Hey, I'm Jiso, and I recently beat the professional difficulty in the Resident Evil 4 remake with an S plus rank, which was very hard. It was really, really hard. So right now I'm trying to go back and give people some advice, some insights when it comes to what to do in the very tricky part. And I think the cabin is a very difficult fight and I'm going to do my best to help you have an easier time here. But I'm also working on a full walkthrough for the professional difficulty and that thing is going to take a while because I need to make, I need to go through the game again, have a very reliable path and there's a lot of RNG in that difficulty which makes, it just complicates everything but I believe I'm going to make it, I'm going to make it happen so hang in there and let's go to the cabin. We have three objectives in the cabin. We need to make sure we board the windows, that way we can control where enemies are going to come from. We need to be efficient at killing them and then we need to make sure that we don't get hit too much because every single healing item we have right now is going to be used in the little chapters where everything is pretty painful and hits hard. And I also highly, highly recommend having the crafting recipe for flash grenades because they are really, really important for your run, for this run. They allow you to instant kill people whenever they are blinded you can stab them and they won't transform i mean last plagas won't emerge from their head okay now because in this difficulty enemies barely stagger you need to make sure that you position yourself far enough that so that you can react to them running to you because they can run pretty fast and can catch up to you very fast and they won't stagger so I'm going to stay here on the stairs, but I'm not going to go all the way up because if you go all the way up, they're going to use a ladder, go up and surprise you from behind. By staying here, you make sure that everybody is in your line of sight and you can see them coming. And whenever someone gets too close to you and you feel like you're going to get hit, you're going to use your shotgun. But you can get rid of anybody and occasionally you want to go down there and stab people and prevent, prevent them from coming back because whenever they come back like this, they are tankier, they, are, they eat more bullets, enemies are bullet sponges, so you, want, you really want to make sure that everything you can kill without wasting too much ammo, you need to, you need to be able to deal with them accordingly. That's why I said that you need to be efficient, you can't waste bullets because you don't want to struggle in the later chapters because there's no way to go back unless you just want to redo chapters over and over and over again. And I figured that staying here on the stairs especially for the first part of the you know of the fight because eventually they're going to come from upstairs staying on the stairs is the best thing you can do and nobody can surprise you you can you actually have a whole you have everything in your line of sight you can see people coming and you know for the first part of the, of this encounter you know that nobody can stay can come up from behind so here i messed up i i overestimated how you know tanky they would be and I also have a lot of grenades just in case like that they're all gathered together i can use the grenades to you know get rid of them instantly as you can see you know flash grenades are very very important they blind everybody in the vicinity and you can use that time to stab people and depending on how close they are you can stab two or three of them and you will make sure that they will die instantly. Right now, I'm trying to board the window and I'm trying not to get too close because they can instantly, just like that, they can instantly grab you, giving you no time to react. And as you can see with my health, I almost died, which is crazy. In one single grab, I almost died. This is how easy it is to die in this difficulty and why you should be very cautious. People will sometimes refer to RNG. I refer to it as random bullshit because I figured that every single time. Okay, so here I made a mistake. My mistake was underestimating just how tanky and how stagger resistant that enemy was going to be. And you need to not take that risk. Every time you see people running up to you, use the shotgun to create some space, use your grenades whenever they're all, you know, gathered together to kill them or to kill all of them instantly. Do not, again, in this difficulty, they won't, sometimes you will shoot them three times in the head and they will not stagger. So use your shotgun whenever they get too close to you. Don't take any risk. It's better to, to you know, to waste one shell than to have to restart the whole chapter. Look away! We have successfully boarded every single window, so enemies are going to either come from this chimney 
or just jump down from upstairs but at least we know that they cannot go through those windows downstairs and i'm taking this time right now to go and loot everything which is upstairs because it's going to be eventually overwhelmed by enemies and you don't want to stay upstairs i highly recommend staying downstairs as here you have way too many i'll say entrances to cover and i don't like it there is also something i do not understand with this game why does getting grabbed injure you if I get punched or hit while being grabbed, okay, but why does simply getting grabbed takes away so much health? That's not how grabs work. It is not. And because I gra that guy grabbed me, <laughs> I'm stuck now with all those people around me when all I wanted to do was just come upstairs and get you know those, those items and get downstairs. But now I can, and again, I highly recommend staying downstairs because that way you can, you can control better where enemies are going to appear from and we just need to kill i think two more people until the bull guy eventually spawns now listen the bull guy is very dangerous that's why you should not take him lightly and you need to kill him as fast as possible my strat is to throw a grenade get close to him and stab him and while he's on the ground i use a shotgun to blast him in the back that way you can ensure that he's not he's never going to be able to retaliate again flash grenade you stab him and while he's on the ground you know trying to recover shot back shot shotgun in the back it is super efficient and reliable and Again, it's going to prevent you from using too much ammo, something you will need later, you know, especially for the boss fight and just, just like that, that's it. We completed the cabin and though it wasn't pretty, it sure was efficient, especially when it comes to the bull guy, he did not have time to do anything and the longer you take, the more surrounded you're going to eventually be. So do not waste any time and make sure that you actually save your grenades for this encounter and do not forget to have the recipe for the flash grenades because that's how you're going to survive and you know kill those enemies faster if you don't have if you don't want to waste ammo. I'm going to I think I'm going to do Salazar or I don't know. I don't know. Just let me know about any tricky part you want me to cover and I'm going to you know try to do my best to give you some pointers. I'm Jiso, thank you guys for watching and from now on you are not allowed to die in the cabin. <laughs> yeah, so bye bye.